Thank you all for coming here today to talk about this issue. You know, recently the Secretary of State issued a uh, memorandum of understanding between her office and DMV. And that memorandum, memorandum of understanding was to be in response to several factors. It's coincidental, I think, that had to come out one week after session ended. And basically what it does, it's asking DMV to take an active role in the registration of voters. And as you can see in the pictures behind us, the number of people that are lined up outside these offices, these were random shots that we took going out just because we know the reality of what's happening with DMV and all the problems it has had with people waiting in line and missing half a day's work, not even able to register vehicles or renew your license in a timely manner. And with that, uh, now we want to add more burdens to an agency who can't even do their function as stated in the statute. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Senator Mike McLaughlin. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you all for being here today. The Secretary of State uh, in the Memorandum of Understanding is proposing a very expensive uh, idea for automatic registration of voters in Connecticut. We have in state statute now full compliance with the Federal Motor Voter Law, uh, which is a inexpensive process for us to comply fully with the Federal Motor Voter Law. Uh, that process has been abandoned by the Secretary of the State and the Department of Motor Vehicles. Uh, that's the program that we should be talking about re-implementing, is a program that's currently in place that has no new uh, implementation costs and is in full compliance. Key point is uh, <clears throat> the proposal in the Memorandum of Understanding uh, requires a pretty substantial investment of uh, uh, information technology improvements in both the Department of Motor Vehicles and at the Secretary of the State's office. That's on top of the $26 million that the Department of Motor Vehicles has already uh, invested in their new computer system. It's not working right yet. And the Secretary of the State's office has bond authorizations of nearly $12 million since Secretary Merrill was elected Secretary of the State uh, for information technology purposes. Now they want more money. We're out of money. Let's use the current system that's in place. Uh, it is a very simple process. When, a, when a, uh, a patron of the Department of Motor Vehicles visits a motor vehicle office for registration or a license, they are handed a voter registration card. If they go to the AAA office, they're asked, are you a registered voter? In the case of mail-in registrations, there was an insert in the envelope with their registration or license renewal as a voter registration card. All they had to do was send it in with their payment and renewal of their registration or license. So this process has been in place now for 20 years, I believe. Uh, it's in state statute now and it cost us no more money. Most importantly, it doesn't require motor vehicle to keep fiddling with the, the new computer system that they have struggled to fully implement, uh, and that's really what the problem is. That's what these lines are about. The lines are about the implementation of their computer system has uh, uh, been a nightmare, and we don't need any more nightmares in, in the implementation of the system. Last but not least, we have an online voter registration system now that is still not fully functional. In fact, on September, uh, two weeks ago, May 11th, I sent a letter to the Secretary of the State saying you have security flaw in your online voter registration system and asked for a thorough review, thorough review of that system to see uh, what's causing this security flaw. No response. She's been too busy running around with a memorandum of understanding with the Department of Motor Vehicles to spend millions of dollars more on a new computer system. Let's just use what we have and fix what we have. Thank you. We have Tony Boucher, come on up. You know, I have been a leader from the Senate on the Transportation Committee for some years. 
But I've never experienced the kind of problems that we've had this year, nor have our constituents. And it doesn't matter if you're a House representative or a state senator. Throughout the state of Connecticut, whatever offices there are, there was really an outcry from one end of the state to the other about the problems that the DMV was experiencing and continues to experience, in fact. The job of the DMV is to deal with our, mo our, com our motors, our, com our, our commuters, our, the individuals that drive on our roads. Uh, this is what their charge is. Their charge is not about registering voters. That is, that is a core function of the Secretary of the State. And we would maintain that the DMV cannot handle more in the area of motor voter programs because they can't even get their own house in order. Just remember what has just happened in the last few years. We've had DMV offices closed for software upgrades, hundreds of records that have been missing from the computer system, people standing in lines to find out that their record is in the old system and needs to be moved over. The commissioner even said and stated, the previous commissioner, that he had 900 or so instances where records have not transferred over, that they weren't lost they were in the old system and needed to be transferred over. Wait times tripled. We've had suspended registration issues. People get pulled over for suspended registrations because of a system glitch in which many of the people with insurance are recorded as not having insurance, resulting in suspensions, wrongly so. We've even had towns get wrong information from the DMV on what, what vehicles were registered in which municipality. They got that all mixed up. The president of the Tax Assessors Association was outraged and talked about how their vehicles were assigned wrong car tax code to the wrong town. We've had our dealerships have problems as well with registering their vehicles. There was so much going on with this system and taking care of their core business over this year that resulted in the resignation of one commissioner and the recruitment of others. And even to the point now where they have discontinued contracts for further phases with their computer uh, vendor going forward. This is really the wrong time, the absolutely wrong time to be engaging in more work that strictly belongs, they belong in with the Secretary of the State. And I would maintain that we have a lot at stake right now. What's at stake is the credibility of Connecticut's election process in a year when so much is at stake for both political parties, I might add, and given that the Secretary of the State has previously had trouble with dealing with voter issues when people have brought up issues locally to them. Our, our, our Secretary of the State, our Register of Voters, are the most competent, the most knowledgeable about voter registration. That's where the core function should stay, where it should be, and let the DMV fix their problems uh, at their own agency. Thank you, Tony. I'd like to recognize the fact that Melissa Zebron is here although it's not a budget issue per se. She's, uh, she's here in support of this uh, press conference. Long and short of it is we do have the ability and procedure in place without any cost to uh, increase the voter registration here in Connecticut, do it correctly, do it appropriately uh, under the plan as described by Senator McLaughlin without additional costs and without burdening a DMV that's uh, having its difficult time uh, getting its house in order. With that, we'll take any questions.